UHL platoon is headed to the factory block as predicted. They will arrive in 30 seconds. We've been ordered to send the control system data to Seiron after we make contact with Yuito. In other words, they'll be monitoring your conversation. Be careful. Understood. Yuito platoon arriving in five, four, three. What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place, and the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. Well, we have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiving. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said... Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. Knowing the strength of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. That's fine with me, too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. <sighs> Damn it! Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical's Seiron factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cruel place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? I thought you were amazing since you were a cadet design. Now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? What happened to you? This isn't like you. I'm not done yet. Virgo, shut up! You don't know anything about anything. Then tell us. We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything. 
Using the Sheeta. It's up to you.
Drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's. You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. 
Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. Uh, well... Why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karin's permission. There's been a change in plans. I am canceling your assignment. Await your next orders. Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Ceyron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Ceyron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others, or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? His brain is... <laughs> Yuito! Yuito? <sighs> Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? That's right. Naomi! I'm coming, Naomi! Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. <laughs>